Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nadia and today we're actually at my parents' house. Now, I mentioned this in the last video, but my parents are Western people. So they live on a ranch called Silver Sage Springs. Try saying that three times fast. And here they breed Western pleasure horses. They mostly specialize in Appaloosas, but they do also have a few paint horses and a couple of Mustangs here and there to help them with the ranch work. They also own some cattle and other small animals, but mostly they're in the horse business. I'm here today because it's time for our first Western show. So I'm going to go put on a coat and then we're going to go find Bluebell. Now Bluebell is one of our newer horses to the ranch. She is about four and a half years old. She is a blue roan Appaloosa and honestly the pride and joy of my dad. We did enter her in a couple of shows for the 2023 season and she did really well, all things considered. I went to the barn first to check and see if she might be there, but after a quick look around, it was pretty apparent that she either had just been turned out or she had not been brought back in yet. With no sign of her in the barn, I did head out to the pasture to see, and sure enough, there she was, but she was more than ready to go. I tell you, this mare walks fast, and she was like, let's go, I'm ready to work, which is honestly one of the things that I really love about her. Now, I did learn my lesson with Styles last time, so I brought her up to the round pen and sent her off to do a little bit of lunging. Lunging is one of those things that it's not my favorite thing to do, but when it's done correctly, it honestly saves you way more time. It gets a lot of the freshness out of your horse, but I knew that I was going to be taking Bluebell on a little bit of a trail ride before we got to the arena today. So I didn't work her too much, but I did want to get her mind on me and focus so we did some joining up and then i sent her back out to the rail and asked for some more work out of her and she was just great honestly she is such a good-minded horse like if my dad would let me steal her from him i totally would Once Bluebell was nice and warmed up, I did go ahead and tack her up with some of my older stuff. She was honestly pretty quiet for this, so it didn't take very long, and then I gave her a quick run around the pen just to make sure that we had gotten any crazy crow hops or bucking out of the way, which of course she didn't do anything. She was a perfect doll baby. Honestly, Bluebell is the total package. She's got beauty, she's got brains, and she's just a good horse. She comes from a pretty long line of Western Pleasure horses, and her registered name is Borrowed and Blue. She mostly competed in Western Pleasure events last year, but this time we're doing a Western Trail just to see how she does. We're not really putting any pressure on her for this event. It's mostly just to see if it's something that she would excel at. Because the practice arena that we were headed to was in Dundle, I decided to take her on a little trail ride and that way we could just kind of work out any last minute jitters or weirdness, but honestly, she didn't need it.
The trail ride up to Dundle was pretty quiet. All things considered, I did get a call from my friend Izzy who said that she was going to be coming up to the arena as well. And when we met up there, it was so full of snow. There was just way too much to be able to get a good run. So I'm going to put some footage in now of the other day when there was a lot less snow and I took Bluebell up there for a little ride. Uh, don't mind the GoPro footage. I'm not really good at helmet cam, so it's a little bit wonky and I'm sorry that I don't really have great footage to show you. But Bluebell did great. She acted like this was no big deal to her. I will say this is probably one of the easier Western Trail courses that I've seen. It's a lot of walking, a lot of jogging, a lot of loping, and you know, some simple stuff like a circle in a box, things like that. Some going through some shoots. It's definitely new for Bluebell, which is why we were doing a lot of practice. You can see here she had absolutely no problem walking through this chute and honestly she acts like she's been doing this for years instead of what three weeks now at this point back to present day uh, we did do a little bit through the snow, just on the places that we could get to, but it was mostly the shoots and the snakes and all that stuff. It really wasn't anything too complex. Like, we couldn't do the circle in the box just because it was too deep. So Izzy and I headed back up toward the ranch and took a little trail ride together back to my parents. I met Izzy last year on the show circuit and honestly she's become one of my best friends. She knows so much about western events and I'm so glad to be able to hang out with her anytime we do western. Once we got back to the barn I untacked Bluebell and gave her a good brush down. I made sure to really take my time with her grooming routine. I really wanted to make sure that she wasn't sweaty or anything like that because we did go for a longer trail ride even if we didn't spend a lot of time working so she was on the warmer side so I just made sure that she was good before I left her with her hay bag and then my mom called and asked if I would help her wrangle in Dawn. Now Dawn is one of the youngest horses on the farm. She's right up there with baby Flash who was born this year. She was born last year. And this little mare is a handful. She would not come to anybody and I was no exception, which is why I ended up on the run from this horse. She is one of those spicy, bossy mares that when she puts her mind to doing something, you are not going to get her to do anything else. She literally ran circles around me and just was being a little brat for about 25 minutes. It was literally a game of one step forward and two steps back. Like every single time I got close to her, she would back up or take off or both. And it took me about 25, 30 minutes to finally convince her that I was worth more than her freedom. And I am not above bribery. So it took one bucket of sweet feed and she was in my pocket. I was finally able to get a halter on her happy butt and take her back to the barn. Well, that about does it for me here at the ranch. It really is never a dull day here. Our show this weekend is with JNSA. It's their first Western show of the season. And I'm really excited by the competitors and to be able to see everyone again. I think we have a pretty good shot at bringing home some ribbons. So let's cross our fingers and our toes I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Being here with my parents is always fun. They have a bigger operation than I do at Shaded Oaks, but work never ends, so they can always use an extra pair of hands. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you would, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!